namaste students today we are going to learn about your lesson the last child it is from your moment book written by mulk raj anand this is the introduction of the last child lesson the last child is the story of a small child who gets lost in a fair he had gone with his parents to the fair but loses them when he gets engrossed in looking at a roundabout swing the story highlights the bond of love and affection that the child shares with his parents before losing them he had been demanding different things like sweets balloons flowers swings etc once he loses them he is picked up by a stranger the stranger tries to quieten the child by offering him all these things that he had demanded from his parents but the child doesn't want them anymore he wants only his parents first this is the introduction of the lesson the lost child now we shall see the summary of the lost child it was a festival of spring a large number of men women and children were going to the fair they were dressed in new clothes they were in a happy mood the child was also going with his parents to the fair the child was also very happy he was attracted by various things he lagged behind again and again his parents called him to come along with them the child ran and joined with his parents the child wished to buy a toy from a toy shop but his father stared at him with his red eyes there was a mustard field on the way the boy saw a beautiful butterfly in the field he tried to catch it his parents again called him after some time the child's parents rested under a banyan tree near the well the child began to gather the fallen petals from the plants but the parents called him at last they reached the fair the child saw a sweet seller he desired to have some burfi but he knew that his father would not buy it for him he would call him greedy so he did not press his demand he then wished to enjoy a so he moved on from that place and soon came across a flower seller fascinated by the galmohar garlands he again made a faint demand for flowers but he knew very well about his parents they would say it was very cheap in their opinion moving on he saw a balloon seller he was thrilled to see the brightly colored balloons but knew that his parents would not buy one for him because they thought that he was too old to play with balloons that is the child was not your baby like that his parents would say next your snake charmer playing the flute drew his attention the child moved towards him a little but withdrew his steps because he knew that his parents had forbidden him to hear such rough music on moving ahead the child was charmed by a roundabout in full swing we also like to swing he couldn't resist or bear his desire so that he made a bold request to his parents to let him go on the roundabout but there was no reply from his parents they were not to be seen anywhere near him he got extremely scared and started crying he ran here and there but couldn't find them he rushed in panic to a shrine which was crowded with people he tried to make his way through the feet of his crowd but was knocked down and began crying loudly the man heard his cries 
and rescued him from being trampled the strange man lifting the little boy in his arms the kind man asked him how had he got there and whose baby he was the scared child didn't answer and kept crying and asking for his parents the good man tried to console him and took him to the roundabout offering to get him a ride on the horse but the child didn't want anything else other than his mother and father the man took the inconsolable child to the snake charmer the balloon seller and the flower seller one by one he offered to fulfill all wishes that he had made just a little while ago but the child turned down all the offers he just wanted his parents and nothing else here itself the story ends